What's up guys, Dylan with That Delta Bravo, and today, traction grips. So if you followed this channel at all for any length of time, you know that I love traction grips. They're a rubberized grip overlay that goes over the frame and grip area of your firearm. I have them on my Sky CPX2, my Smith & Wesson MMP9, my Glock 43X, I put them on my mom's Walther, uh, I gave them to my friend for his... Whatever he has, I don't remember. I seriously love these things. Now the guys at Traction Grips are awesome, so I helped them out with an installation video for them to use on their social media. But since I really liked it, I asked them if I could use parts of it on my channel as well. Now I've done an installation video in the past, but frankly, this one is better. So I'm gonna show you how to put Traction Grips on your firearm. But first, I just wanna say, Traction Grips did not ask me to do this. I seriously believe in this product. It is the best eight to twelve dollar upgrade you could put on your firearm that you'll see immediate results and it's long lasting and easy to do um i first put them on my sky cpx2 back in 2014 and oh i daily carried that thing well not daily but many times a week for about let's say eight years in my pocket in florida where it gets very hot and humid and i get very sweaty and they held up so well and after I show you the installation on my Glock 43X, we're gonna take a look at that Sky CPX2 and see how well that held up with pocket carry after eight years. Now, a couple times in this video, I may say something like our website, but to help out Traction Grips, I made the video for them, so I'm making it seem like I'm part of Traction Grips. So if you hear that, just ignore it. Now, I'm gonna show you how I installed them on my Glock 43X, but the principle is the same on any firearm. So here's how you install Traction Grips on your firearm. First, make sure your firearm is unloaded. Always practice safe firearm handling anytime you have a firearm around you. Next, clean the area where the overlay will go. We suggest hot water with a drop of dish soap or 91% isopropyl alcohol. This will ensure there is no dirt, grease, or oils left behind. This is very important for me since I have naturally oily hands. Use a lint-free cloth for the washing and drying process. Make sure to dry it well. Now for the fun part. Start by taking out all of the overlay pieces. The insert in the bag contains all of the instructions and if you're unsure where something goes, you can check the picture on the front. Take the section you want to install first, peel off the backing, and carefully apply it. Try not to touch the sticky part or the frame of the firearm too much. Gently get it going first in the event you have to peel it up and try again. It may take a couple tries depending on your firearm. Stretch and massage it into place to get it to lay flat and flush. Make sure parts like both sides of your magazine release are clear. Now for some heat. With a heat gun or hair dryer, heat up the overlay. This will allow the overlay to bond better and form to the contours of the pistol. It will also evaporate residual mold release agents, making the grip feel tackier. Once warm, I decided to press it into place a bit more. Look at that fit. Now do the same for the next section or sections you want to put on. For me, just the back strap section will do. For this 43X specifically, there is an extra piece that can go here, here, or really any place that you'd like. I personally didn't have the need for it, so I left it off. So that's it. That's how you install traction grips. It's super easy and such a phenomenal $8 to $12 upgrade. Like I said, I carry them on, I put them on every firearm that I carry, and I've, I've given them away as gifts. I've put them on my mom's firearms. It's just, I, I trust them that much. Uh, it's it's a really great down-to-earth mom-and-pop shop company. It's a local business. Well, not local to here, but you know small business and the people are great The product is great and let's take a look at that sky CPX2 So here's just a quick look at this guy after about eight years of pocket carry as you can see the sides are perfect No issues with the sides whatsoever now the new version of the grips actually wrap around the front I have the old version on here now these finger grooves this one did start to peel off, so I did have to glue that down. This one held on just fine. Now, the back strap, that section did start to peel off as well, so I eventually just peeled that off. But again, this is eight years of pocket carry, and when I first installed these, I actually skipped 
the heat treating step using the heat gun or blow dryer. So again, this is after eight years of pocket carry. I'd say that held up pretty well. By the way, this firearm is unloaded as you should when you're anytime handling a firearm. So there you have it. If you want this for your firearm, well, do a quick Google search for them because to play by YouTube's rules, I can't put any links in the description or on the channel anywhere to show where these guys are, but just Google search traction grips and I'm sure you can find them to get them for your firearm. They are super amazing and you will love them. So if you wanna see more videos like this about what I put on my firearms and also a bunch of stuff about cars because this channel is half firearms, half automotive, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. And hey, give me a like and let me know in the comments below what you wanna see me do more videos on next and I'll do my best to make that happen within reason before I go on my next long-term hiatus, which I tend to do on YouTube. But guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Oh, and make sure you get some traction grips.